And you know what? So many people say that my hair is fake. It's a wig. Some dollar store 99 cent wig. If I've ever seen one. Okay, girl. It's Adria, so welcome back to my channel, or if it is your first time dropping by, welcome. Feel free to hit the red subscribe button down below to join the hashtag panda or potato fam. We would love to have you. For today's video, I am going to be talking about how I fixed my hair, my journey from messed up dark hair to what you see today. Basically how to be a smart blonde because blonde is complicated. I say this all the time to Brandon, you have to be smart to be blonde. All right, so even this is not totally perfect. I know that my ends are kind of dark. People are like, oh, some of your hair like doesn't, you know. But for me, this is this is an improvement. I'm fine with this. Back, I think it was March 20, I think it was 2015, I decided to dye my hair dark. I just wanted to try something different. Maybe you guys remember back then when I had short, dark hair. I just wanted something different. And my sister had this box color. It was darkest brown, but girl, my hair was black, okay? <laughs> After like a month, I was like, eh, I miss being blonde. I've always been blonde. I was born blonde. I was like, eh. Cause when I was little, 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 my hair was naturally like this, but any natural blondes out there will tell you when you start to get older, sometimes your hair gets darker. I bleached my hair in third grade. I bleached it again in high school. I never kept up with it. My mom would just bleach my hair. That would be it. There'd be no toner involved. There would be no purple shampoo, nothing. I don't know why. It just, maybe it just didn't look as bad. It didn't turn as super yellow. In a week, it kind of just faded. I don't know, that was that. It got to the point after having my dark hair for, I think I had it for almost a year, if not a year. I don't really remember the exact timeline, but I had it for a while and I started to be like, okay, I want to go back to blonde. I miss being blonde. For my birthday, Brandon took me to a hair salon to try to get like highlights, double dimension highlights, I think they're called. I even had a picture of what I wanted because I had my hair highlighted before. I kind of wanted it to look similar. I kind of told her um, I just want to lighten my hair up a lot. It's really kind of brown. Up here was all like my natural kind of strawberry blonde hair and then down here was like this faded brown. So I thought maybe some highlights would really kind of lighten it up, make it look better. Then I could just grow my blonde out and it would look good. Like three hours and $200 later, my hair didn't look any different. It looked exactly the same. And I was trying to be positive about it and be like, oh, like it looks kind of better. I mean, she she made the color at least kind of even, but it wasn't what I wanted. And I was very upset because I spent my birthday in the salon. <laughs> Few months later, I am just so sick of my hair. So I go on Amazon and I order a Manic Panic bleach kit. I didn't look at like the volume, the lift, like nothing, none of the numbers on it mattered. I'm like, I'm ordering bleach, I don't care. It turned pink, yellow, orange. It was a mess. I didn't know what to do. I still went about my life, you know, I didn't put my life on hold just because I messed up my hair. I did some videos where my hair was yellow and people were like, oh my gosh, turn your hair, it looks so bad. Like, I knew it looked bad. I just didn't know how to fix it yet. My mom's hair girl was like messaging me and I was sending her pictures of it. It was this whole process of her, you know, recommending things to me. What I used to go from that yellowy mess to the color I have now is I use the Wella Color Charm Toner. This is in T27. People ask me a lot what kind of toner I use for my hair. And then this is the Cream Developer in 20 volume. And I also use a little, this is a teaspoon. <laughs> Yeah, and I also use this little teaspoon to measure them. So for every one of this, you do two of this. Yeah, it's all science. Like I said earlier, you have to be smart to be blonde, especially to do it all yourself, because it's hard. It's like, a, it's, it's a whole thing. So if you think blondes are dumb, ask her if she does her own hair. If she does her own hair, She's smart. She goes to the salon, she might be dumb. I'm just kidding. That started to fix my hair, but it was still very much patchy, very just, mm. I mean, even the ends of my hair, I think this is like what's left of that patchiness. I can still kind of see it, but I feel like it's slowly but surely going away. People say my hair still looks bad. I don't care. I'm like, girl, I don't feel ashamed to go out in public. I'm not embarrassed. I don't wear bandanas to cover my hair anymore. I feel good. So then when I would have to touch up my roots, I would still get the manic panic. I think I did that maybe two more times after I did my hair. And then I went to a Sally Beauty Supply to get a manic panic. They didn't have it uh, in the right volume that I wanted. So I asked the girl, I was like, oh, do you have any of this manic panic? She's like, oh girl, you don't want that bleach. I'm like, 
what? And she recommended to me instead this Blonde Brilliance Bleach. This is the developer it comes with, but I threw out the bleach packet because it was just a piece of paper, but look for this. Okay, if you're a blonde, if you do your own roots, if you bleach your hair, this bleach is amazing. Hashtag not sponsored, nothing in this is sponsored. This is just like, this is what I do to my freaking hair. This is so easy on the hair, it doesn't fry it. I mean, we used this on Brandon's hair and even he was like, my hair feels softer now than it did before it was bleached, which is kind of weird. But this stuff is great on the hair. I mean, this woman, she was probably like my mom's age. She had this bright, fuchsia hair and it looked like silk. It looked not real. She's like, this is the only bleach I use. I don't use any other. I would never use Manic Panic ever. It's horrible on your hair. I was like, all right, sold. I'll take 20, girl. Let's go. A lot of you guys were like, could you do a video of you actually bleaching your hair, how you do your roots? It is such a long process. Okay, so I actually just recently did them. They're still not completely toned to the rest of my hair, but it takes a few times of purple shampoo which I will get to. I used to make the mistake of doing my entire head in one go and I found that I would miss some spots when I would do this, which would look bad. I would definitely recommend, especially if you have a thick head of hair, is to do it half your head and then the other half of your head. I think it took me two and a half hours start to finish to bleach, tone, shower, all of it. It was a long time. It was a terrible day. I hate doing my roots. That's why I avoid it. That's why I let them grow as much as they possibly can. Yeah, I kind of just divided my hair half and half, did the one side, rinsed it out, did the other. Bleach lifts the color out rather than dyeing it a different color. And that's something that I really had to learn. I didn't know that. Okay, so say I was bleaching my hair and I started like right here, okay? And I did my entire head and it took like almost an hour. Right here will be so white and then the rest of my hair won't be that. So, not to mention it's not healthy to leave the bleach on for super long, which I feel like I used to do, just because I couldn't get my whole head done quick enough, which was overwhelming. It was ugh. So, also, people ask me about upkeep. What do I use in my hair to keep it healthy, to keep it blonde? I use the Shimmering Lights Purple Shampoo. This one's very much squeezed. <laughs> There's still some in here though, I think, yeah. It's great, I love it. I think one time I left it in a little too long and it turned my hair, I think like right here, all this was like purple. It, it wasn't even silver, girl, like it, ooh, it was purple. I definitely recommend this if you have blonde or silver hair. It's a lifesaver, it really does take all that yellowness out, at least for me anyway. What I realized is that, uh, cause when we bleached Brandon's hair, I was like, oh yeah, just put purple shampoo in it, it didn't do anything. And I realized that Brandon needed blue shampoo. So they also have blue shampoo because his wasn't yellow, his was orange. No way am I an expert. This is just experience. Believe me, if anybody knows nothing about hair, it's me. I know nothing. This is just experience, okay? Sometimes I'll just leave the purple shampoo on my roots for like 20 minutes. I'll do that. Sometimes I'll have to tone my hair more than once. It's just, it's a whole thing. It's it's really so tedious. If you're someone that is constantly busy, constantly on the go, you don't want to spend the time, the effort, the money, don't do it. It's exhausting because now I'm like, and eh. Also, what I love for my hair, this is actually empty. <laughs> rip. Uh. But this is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In for Blondes and I love this so much. This stuff is expensive. This tiny little 4 ounce bottle I think is around $20 but it lasts a long time so it is worth the investment. It tones the hair, enhances everything, blah blah blah, all this. Look into this stuff. They have it for non-blondes too so if you don't even have blonde hair you can I love this. I went through a time period a few years ago where I constantly wore my hair in a ponytail or a bun because my hair was just so frizzy. I just couldn't do anything with it. I don't even think it was bleached at the time. I've always had a problem with poofy hair because I just have the naturally wavy thick hair. So if I even brush my hair out, lion's mane, tangled, duh, Anna when she wakes up in Frozen. Like that's my hair. It's a 10 really helped with that. More recently I started using this. This is the R Rosaco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This is so amazing and it smells like coconuts. Ugh. I use it as perfume, girl. It makes your hair so soft. So silky. Smells like coconuts. It's just, this is amazing. I think my mom got this in a Fab Fit Fun box, but she sent it to me. Or maybe she thought I would like this better. I also use Pantene shampoo. I was using Aussie for a little bit. Aussie? 
Aussie. So Aussie was like super harsh on my hair, just eh, didn't like it, but I used Pantene as well as my purple shampoo. I mentioned this in my uh, bangs video. This is the um, Boogie's Casual Hair Clay, and that's what I use for my bangs. Better than hairspray, better than hair gel, it doesn't make your hair all gross. So I love this. I love that a lot. So that's pretty much everything that I use to bleach my hair, tone it, keep up with it, keep it healthy. I know my hair isn't super healthy, but believe me, it it's been worse. It's definitely been worse. I don't use heat on it every day. I don't blow it dry every day. So a lot of people ask me how many times a week I wash it. I normally wash it no more than three times a week. So it's normally like two, two times, three at max if I'm like, you know, if I'm sweating a lot. I stopped brushing my hair when it was wet and I feel like that's even helped. So, you know, there's little changes I've made to my hair to fix it. I know that in my old videos I had some messed up hair. It doesn't need to be addressed. Like, can we let bygones be bygones and just thank Jesus that I've somewhat fixed my hair now. So, I hope that this video was somewhat helpful if you're looking into bleaching your hair or if you do have bleached hair or even if you just wanted to know what I do to mine if you were curious. So, if you enjoyed today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. I post videos three times a week. You can find me on all my social media down below. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs. I love you guys. Bye! And take care of your hair. <laughs>